Not budgeting for closing costs can ruin your real estate deal. When calculating the total upfront cash that you need to buy a house, most folks think that it's just a down payment. Closing costs are those extra fees and charges that come into play as you finalize the purchase of your dream home. These costs can vary, so let's dig into some of the specifics. Before we dive into closing costs, let's quickly recap the down payment. In Canada, the minimum down payment ranges between 5 and 20% of the home's purchase price. There's also an additional initial deposit that comes into play as soon as you go under contract that does form part of your down payment. For a more detailed understanding of down payments and requirements in Canada, watch our down payment explanation video below. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of closing costs. These fees cover a wide range of services and fees to ensure a smooth transaction. Here's a breakdown of some of the most common closing costs you might encounter. The land transfer tax. This is a provincial tax based on the purchase price of the property. It's a one-time payment due at closing day. But if you're lucky enough to be purchasing a home here in Alberta, the good news is the average tax here is a few hundred dollars compared to our counterparts in Ontario. Their average is tens of thousands of dollars per transfer. Next, legal fees. You'll need a lawyer to handle the legal aspect of the transaction. They'll charge fees for their service, which may vary depending on the price of the home due to the additional fees. Average is about $1,500 to $2,200. The next one is title insurance. This protects you from any defects of the property's title or ownership history if the RPR is not ready at the time of closing and costs a couple hundred dollars. Prepaid costs are another consideration. These include things like property tax, utilities, and condo fees that the seller may have already paid in advance. You'll need to reimburse them for these costs, which can add up. All right, so let's put these all together. Closing costs can typically range from 1% to 2% of the home's purchase price. So if you're buying a home at $300,000, closing costs could be anywhere from three to $6,000. It's crucial to budget for these costs to avoid any surprises. Now that you have a better understanding of what's involved, let's talk about budgeting. Start by researching your province's land transfer tax rates and other local fees. Get quotes from lawyers or notaries for their services. And don't forget about those prepaid costs. Having a clear budget in mind will make your home buying journey much smoother. If you're purchasing a mature home or a home where you think you're going to need to upgrade or renovate in the next few years, have an emergency fund. It's difficult for most buyers with these high interest rates and low inventory, but don't over leverage yourself. Saying don't be house poor is easier said than done, but you want to have an emergency fund of about six months for your home. So if your hot water tank or your furnace dies, you're not needing to take out a long-term or high interest loan. So there you have it. Those are some of the additional costs you should consider when purchasing a home here in Canada. Remember, it's not just about the down payment. You need to factor in these additional expenses too. Being prepared and informed is key to a successful home buying experience. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more real estate insight.